Good evening guys, MC Procrastin here for another 2 minute video as part of the 2 minute series. If you don't know what the 2 minute series is, check the video link below and you'll find out all about it. The bike of today is the Honda CBR600RR. The RR stands for Race Replica and this was based around the Honda CBR600F which was an extremely popular road sports bike. Now in 2002 the Honda CBR went into production, more importantly it was released to Super Sports World Championship of which it won from 2002 to 2008 and again to 2000. 2010 to 2014. The major revisions were 2005, 2007, 2009, 2013 and the latest model which is available today which is the 2017 and the baby brother of the Honda CBR 1000RR. It's been completely overhauled, redesigned as you can see from the image below. We'll go into that in a minute. Now, notable revisions were in 2007, the CABS system came into play, which is combined ABS. It's a fly-by wire braking system, which was top technology at the time. If the bike senses that there's too much front braking, the back brake will apply to keep the uh, rear end of the bike down. So, extremely clever system. The latest 2017 model comes with a completely redesigned look. It includes traction control, ABS, and all the modern cons, etc. However, interestingly enough, the European markets, um, they've suffered extremely uh, with regards to sales. The Euro 4 legislation means that the cost of developing the bike to meet those standards, Honda has pulled out of the European markets. However, I believe the bike is still available in other non-European markets. Let's compare the bikes then, the 2003 against the 2017 model, well both of them had 600ccs, they're not 60, actually not a huge discrepancy between the two, around about 3.8 to 4 seconds, the quarter mile 11.4 to 12 seconds, the 11.4 being the older bike, 12 seconds being the newer, and a top speed around about 160 mile an hour for both bikes. So interestingly enough, with all the technology there focused on safety uh, and emissions and fuel economy etc, the performance of the bikes remain rather much the same. The great thing about that is regardless of whether you buy one of the older bikes or one of the newer bikes you will have great value for money and fantastic performance. Honda are exceptionally good bike with regards to reliability however I would point out that the CABS system you can find a lot of information on the forums can be quite flawed I would recommend buying any one of the bikes without the CABS system as there's considerable problems there. And that's it for the Honda CBR 600 rr Let me know your thoughts. Is this a bike you would want to buy? So for now that's MC Procrastinator out.